You know, growing up, I was never really the best per se at fashion and putting myself together. I mean, for God's sakes, I should have these videos with the same rotation of shirts and headbands. But I can confidently say I was never really the worst at fashion. Like, I always knew when to wear what. If it was the winter time, I always made sure to put on high knee shorts and the thinnest white tank top known to man. If it was a formal event, I always knew to pull up in some PJs and bring a pillow in case an emergency pillow fight would break out. I'm not taking chances. My point being, although I'm not too fashionable, you know, I still know how to dress when need be. But but seeing fashion now, I'm actually glad I'm not too much into fashion, mainly uh, modern fashion. The entire industry of fashion has always been a funny thing really, because fashion went from exquisite designs with pieces made of precision, hours, sometimes days spent working on the most finest pieces of fabric humanity's ever seen, with the fashion designers who truly cared about the art. Like we can never forget about the fit pic Saint Laurent took at Christian Dior's funeral, still one of the hardest names in existence and still one of the hardest photos to exist, to now just throw things you found in a garbage dump on your back and walk down the runway. Hmm, we've got some leftover cloth. Uh, okay, here, just, just take this and walk down the runway. I don't really care. And before I even start this video, the generosity did make a video similar to this, and I remember seeing it, and he made a lot of good points, so definitely go check it out. But I wanted to add some of my own points to it, and my main question for this video is gonna answer something he didn't really tackle. How did fashion actually go from this, this, and this to whatever it is now? I wanna propose my personal theories on why fashion is so abhorrent dog now. But first, let's define what fashion is. Fashion is a popular trend, especially in styles of dress and ornament or manners of behavior. Styles is kind of pushing it in this definition. I mean, do we really consider this stylish? But anyways, my first theory really isn't a theory, and I'm pretty sure it's just universally agreed upon by, like, this is the reason why. Attention! I think when a regular person sees the absolute doo-doo on fashion runways now, contrary to belief, I really don't think they care. It's not like they're gonna sit there enamored and glamored by whatever the hell they be wearing at these fashion shows. And it's not like they're gonna sit down for hours writing a hate piece on why fashion is so dumb now. At the point the person sees it though, the fashion brands have already won. Their plan is in full effect. They're like Aizen from Bleach where he's planned every single trick in the f***ing book and can't be touched. You see, we live in such an attention whore economy that you can literally get famous for saying a single phrase and reap off the benefits. But when people keep seeing the same old, same old, uh, that's no fun. You have to do and say the most wild things ever now to get that clout high. And really think of it, fashion has never just stayed as one style. That would be too boring to anyone. Every decade, there's always some type of new trend hitting the streets for the people of the world, which on the regular is pretty good for societies. Like if we talk about in the 2010s, well, there was a time everyone was wearing bucket hats and that time everyone was wearing clout goggles. But with these super mega high fashion shows, would just get too boring for people to watch. You can only watch the same suit and dresses walk down the runway before you get bored of it. So these brands are like, hmm, okay, this is getting too boring for people because it's the same as before. So instead, let's just change the outfits every time to something random so people don't get bored. Which is why we see so many goofy, uh, willy wonky, donkey clothing on these runaways. When the human eye sees something so dumb that it doesn't even make any sense, it kind of makes us want to look more. And since it's a new style every time, it's not going to get boring to look at. It's like when you were a kid and got traumatized by your first gore video on live leak. It shocked you because why is someone showing a beheading video to you in the middle of English class at school? But at the same time, you were just so captivated by it. So whether you look at these shows and either love or hate them, the companies have gotten your attention. They've won. The more attention, the more revenue they make. It's just how it works. And hating on it makes it easier for them. Like, look what y'all did with that trash show, Velma. Velma is a clearly trash show and everybody knows that. But now it's getting a second season because people were too busy hating, they forgot the companies were making money. I can somewhat understand though, like I know it can be very hard to look at some of these fashion shows and just not say anything. When you got Miss Lampaho walking down the runway, a group of women who look like they just robbed some secluded tribe of all their fabric and sticks, and my favorite one of all, the square. <laughs> it's a f square. I also found this article while doing research for this video that made a lot of really good points about this. I'll leave the link in the description. It points out that quote unquote, those outside the fashion bubble have begun to point fun at it. Which makes sense to me because like I said, I don't think the average human being really cares about fashion like that. A lot of people just wear what they can get and if it looks good, we give ourselves two thumbs up in the mirror and frolic outside. We don't need no damn expensive garments approved by some random from European cities we've never heard of. So these fashion brands need to get us regular folks looking at them in some way, which is with stuff like this and why it's so popular. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. The more we go on with years on this planet, the worse and worse the new fashion thing becomes. As an example, the new thing happening right now is whatever the f 
these shoes are in the fashion world. These have been trending this past month and honestly got me questioning fashion to make this video. We're at the point where the new fashion thing is just throwing on a pair of shoes with zero soles, zero laces, zero parts of being an actual shoe and boom, a sold out shoe in the matter of a couple of days. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, seconds. Seconds. But the thing is, although a majority of people see this thing and make fun of its goofy odd design, out of a hundred people, 99 can laugh at it and dig a hole to bury it in the deepest parts of Earth. But one person is gonna be like, Now hold on guys, hold on, let's give it a chance. It doesn't really look that bad. I'm actually kind of interested in it. People don't understand, all it takes is one dumb person and it's pretty much over. Another example would be something like when Supreme was popping off a couple years ago. You'd think the heads of fashion at Supreme thought it was a perfect dedication to art by slapping their logo on a brick and selling it for 30 bucks? You know, they knew it was just gonna bring them attention, which leads to more sales and profit. It's also why a few celebrities wear these dumb fits. It's the perfect way to get the attention back to them. Now, my second theory is something I like to call rich people just be bored. Boredom theory has become a very popular theory in the past couple of years and especially on the internet. People are now starting to realize that someone will just do something that makes no sense because they're bored, like people on the internet. An example of this is if I like mispronounce someone's neogenetic pro pronoun on Twitter that I'm all of a sudden the worst person in existence and deserve to be burned to the stake. Meanwhile, in real life, aka the real world, no one really cares and even knows what that is. Okay, okay, I'm off topic, but my point is when rich people have all this money and have bought all the things they could need in life, every single supercar that exists, every single multi-million mansion that exists, every single mega yacht that exists, they have to end up doing something with their stacks. They can't just leave it there to be. Charity? Nah. <laughs> Who likes helping poor people? I mean, come on. People are probably gonna cancel them anyways, like Mr. Beast. Now, you buy yourself something, it's always better to get than give. Which ends up with a bunch of rich people who only care about how other rich people look trying to outdo each other. It's already a known term, I mean, it's called the snob. We all know what a snob is. They be the same people investing into these events to even get them running. Which is mainly why you always see only the super high rich at these types of high fashion shows. While us plebeians have to watch it on YouTube with ads. They're the only ones that can understand each other's boredom and how they deal with it. Which is by doing this, I guess. Once again, the proof is in the pudding with this too. Like, look at the people in the crowds at these shows. Not a single one of these people look like they would ever shake my hand. As a matter of fact, I don't see a single black person except the cameraman in the back. My this would probably be too much for them. I know for a fact one of them gotta be racist. It's also proof with something like the Met Gala, which celebrities love to embarrass themselves with every year for some reason. The only people you see are high mega status celebrities, which as we know, are some of the most bored individuals ever that never have anything good to say. I still can't believe people take celebrities' political opinions and thoughts seriously. And these celebrities usually have either two ways of dealing with this boredom. One is going to the Met Gala with goofy off fashion, and another is flying to a certain island and doing you know what. I'm trying my best to stay clear of guidelines, okay guys? So their way of mingling is by going to this event and wearing these goofy clothes with other celebrities wearing goofy clothes. Which I mean, oh, chef's kiss, you know. Here are some of my favorites. When Lil Nas X pulled up as Iron Man, Zayn Malik popping out with a bionic arm. We're not gonna act like he didn't steal Geno's entire flow. And when Jaden Smith pulled up with his chopped off dreads, which is just so symbolic for someone like Jaden Smith. Oh, we got some food. <laughs> There's much, much more, but I could just make a whole video making fun of these goofy Met Gala fits. It doesn't help also that people just praise these celebrities' designs that I think are just made out of pure boredom. Like, for example, Kanye. I'm talking about music and fashion here, YouTube reviewer. You can calm down, you know. Kanye's obviously a musical genius, and there's no argument about that. And sometimes even a fashion genius. But other times... Yeah, no. I don't care what y'all say. I'm still shocked he got some of y'all to buy whatever the hell these shoes are. He had to have been just bored one day and grabbed the nearest piece of paper and sketched a random shoe design in five minutes. Which honestly makes sense for someone like Kanye. And people will still make the effort to buy it at all costs. To the point when it's sold out, they'll buy it at double the price from some reseller on eBay or StockX. The worst part is that regular people in society are always the ones that end up falling and fighting tooth and nail for these types of things. Not realizing that the celebrities absolutely give zero f about them. And my last theory is something I've already relayed on Twitter before, so go follow me there if you're not already. But it's that the fashion industry is a plot of the most wealthiest people to make fun of everyone else. Now look, look, I know it sounds crazy, but le let me explain for a minute. When the fashion industry originally started, it was always the same snobby things we know now, like fancy suits and high polyester dresses. And these people were synonymous for making fun of the plebeians with dirty, musty, and rusty clothes. However, once it became popular and much more easier for those plebeians to access these suits and dresses, you know, when it got to the 
the point where you could just walk in any thrift shop and find an old head snazzy suit for 30 bucks or for the ladies a granny's nice pantaloon dress for like 50 bucks then after that you could hit a pay less store and find some nice loafers or heels for 30 dollars the snobs were shocked at this to them we just stole their whole flow and left them with nothing so i think one day they all just gathered and they were like you know what we're just gonna make it so you don't want to replicate our style it makes sense too because everyone wanted to be high class back then down from the aesthetics fine arts fashion sense they had it all and now no one even wants to be associated with it now we got million dollar houses that don't even make any sense fine art turned from the mona lisa to just paint buckets splatter randomly on a canvas and selling for millions of dollars and of course high fashion now and by making these goofy clothes super expensive it's like a slap to the regular citizen's face they know damn well we don't want to be dripping in the drip they do now i think that's the same reason why old stuff keeps coming back so often like why would any regular person buy the balenciaga croc heels for 421 dollars when they could buy regular crocs for 25 dollars and just hot glue the heel on the article also points this out too quote unquote consumers were able to find similar designs for affordable prices at smaller boutiques and fast fashion retails which is kind of true i mean they sell this previous high-end fashion at regular places you can think of now walmart target walgreens costco it don't really matter so them doing this is low-key like a you to us they're like whoa i mean now you know we're rich and go ahead and copy us we really don't care but the problem is people actually try to and it's kind of sad if you're just a regular mofo in life and trying to be like these people you truly are a loser people really be out here buying fake clothes from these designer brands and trying to imitate them just to look rich gucci logo spelled kagui jordan logo trying to throw back like an ice spice music video there's just no reason to care like that <laughs> i say just be happy in life and if anything try not to imitate these people if it makes me a loser for wearing what i'm wearing now then i guess i'm a loser forever i don't care let them be in their little la la land and play dress up and we could just live as regular sane human beings and don't think it makes you dumber just because you're not doing what the so-called fashion experts are doing for reference here's what happened in the latest paris fashion show in 2023 they are not even wearing the dresses on them anymore you can be secured in yourself and your smarts. Just throw on some sweatpants, little bro. It'll do a better job anyways. So that's the end of my very thought through uh, conspiracy theories. Of course, you guys can type along why you think society has downgraded from this to this what in fashion. Dude? Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. As always, I love you guys consensually. And until next time, I'm out.